Hey, it's Joy. Today is Monday, October 25th, and it is a rainy day here in Los Angeles area. I published a video earlier today. If you haven't watched it, it was about my first experience in FSD beta, basically full city self-driving on FSD beta version 10.3. If you haven't watched that video, basically, Within two hours after I shot that video, Tesla rolled back that version because it was really buggy. So they just released a half fix to the 10.3 FSD beta version, which is now 10.3.1. And I literally just had this installed in the car. I am going to a chiropractor's appointment. So perfect timing. I'm taking this car out on the very first FSD beta 10.3.1 drive and this is all going to be on city street so no highway or freeway driving for now and um, fingers crossed <laughs> let's see how this goes okay so my car just drove out of my condo community and uh, it performed a lot better than yesterday it's still very jerky and then i just made a left turn onto the street and that left turn was very jerky as well so um definitely improvements but still a little jerky and i'm going to reduce my speed limit to 35 miles per hour because that's the speed limit and somebody told me on um, YouTube after my video that was published earlier this morning that I couldn't figure out how to expand this because I have my music app um, displayed. So apparently you can't do that. Oh, and there's a an emergency vehicle coming behind me and I'm actually disengaging right now to allow this to pass. Yeah, I don't know how the car might detect emergency vehicles coming from behind and then um, you would need to pull over. So that's interesting. And today is actually a really good day to test Tesla Vision because it is a raining day. And oh, here goes another one. Wait, it's not, okay. Um, because it's a rainy day, and um, the markings are not so distinguishable, at least, you know, with human eyes, because everything is reflecting the rain, the water. So um, we'll see how this goes. Again, pay full attention. Yeah, this is getting a little confused because there are actually two lanes, and this is thinking there's only one lane right now. So I have to disengage and send a feedback. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a lane marking on that side, basically this side. But the car was trying to go over there. And um, it was confusing. But now it's showing on the screen. And it says, poor weather detected, navigate on autopilot unavailable. All right, so can't drive it. I'm just going to... No, Audi Boulevard. Do these turns. And then, um, let's enable again. Okay. Now it's not telling me poor weather, which is good. And up ahead, this lane, it's the same situation as the lane that I was driving through on my way to church yesterday, that during certain hours, you can park and certain hours you cannot. So right now you're allowed to park. So here's a Tesla parked on the side with meter parking. And I'm glad that this car is not trying to go over to that lane right now.
So this is actually working pretty nicely. Oh, why did you stop? There's like a little phantom break back there while going through the intersection. So I'm still hearing the, um, the fire truck, but I don't know where it's coming from. Okay, it's going the other direction, so I am good. I'm seeing it in my rear view mirror. Basically, this is just a long stretch of road. It's not very complicated. Um, but again, today's raining, so we'll see how this performs. But so far, it is way better <laughs> than 10 3 yesterday. A little less confused and it's not as um, jerky. I describe the drive from yesterday as feeling that I was on an Indiana Jones ride in Disneyland. Um, but um, today, right now, this is a lot smoother. And, oh yeah, it's getting confused. There are actually lane markings across the intersections but the car wasn't seeing it, so it tried to go to that lane before it corrected itself back here. Thankfully, I don't have another car back here, otherwise the car would have honked at me and gave me dirty looks because you would think that I was trying to cut, cut it off. So actually, let me report that as well. I am driving at speed limit, just so that you're aware. to get rid of this all right so there are lane markings across the intersection I think this time it actually saw but the previous intersection it did not see to stay on Boulevard and I don't know if you can tell but um, I mentioned about all these cars having their brake lights and I'm going to actually take a photo of it and um, show you in the video so you can see that this is an improvement that you can now see all the brake lights on the cars around you with Tesla Vision and this is following the center markings pretty well. And I'm going to, again, reduce the speed to street limit or speed limit of the street. This is so exciting. My car's driving me to my doctor's appointment. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, there was, I don't think there was a person there. There was, it was showing a pedestrian walking on the street, which was actually, I think, a light pole. Look at all these lines, all the lanes and all the traffic, incoming traffic. Wow, 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 wow. I get <laughs> my mind still blown. This is absolutely amazing. So my chiropractor, her husband also has a Tesla. I can go and tell her, guess what? My car drove me here to your appointment today. And like I mentioned in the video that I did yesterday, this is the future, Robo Taxi. Hopefully all these cars in the next 10 years, they will all be driving itself. And later tonight, I am going back to my church, so I will be making the same trip as I did yesterday morning. And I'm going to see how that performs, and um, hopefully it's getting better. Uh, 
Also for reference, I have this set on the chill profile of uh, FSD beta driver profile. So there's a difference between chill mode during the regular drive and the chill profile when you're using FSD um, city drive or beta. So the chill mode when you're driving is it doesn't accelerate that um, aggressively. Um, and the chill profile in FSD beta, <clears throat> excuse me, it, it's similar, but it doesn't make lane changes that aggressively. And um, it will also stay out of the passing lane. So if you switch to like the aggressive profile, which I will test as well, eventually I may just settle with the average profile. Um, but um, the aggressive, it will stay in the passing lane and then um, it will do lane changes more frequently. I guess that's kind of like Mad Max mode in the regular driving mode. Okay, I am going to be there in about a quarter mile. I wonder when. Oh, this is actually not going to turn into the parking lot, so let me reset this. Navigate to Ralph's. Right here. This is where I want to go. Okay. This is the parking lot that I'm trying to go into and park. So, yep, making the right turn on its own. And then coming up with this long turn right. street car door opening. And it tried to avoid that a little bit. And um, now I'm here, but I'm actually going to make a left turn. The address is actually on the main road, but um, this is where we park and get to the office. I am also going to show you guys if I can find a spot with um, Auto Park. So I have been using Auto Park frequently and it's been working out really, really well feet, for me. Your destination so what's left. happening is there are spots back here and what you need to do is actually need to drive pretty slowly under five miles per hour and then you will see there's a P here. And then um, you need to put it in reverse and then it's detecting a spot and you press start and then it's going to park itself in the spot. And Tesla has gotten an update, an enhancement with auto park before it only recognizes if you're between two cars or a car and like a curb. But now it's recognizing the parking lane markings, as you can see, without cars parked on either side. So this is a huge improvement. And I can use Auto Park as um, actually more frequently now. So here I am at the doctor's office. So FSD beta hotfix 10.3.1, I would say it's a success. It performed well enough for me that I felt comfortable with it. And uh, of course, is going to keep improving the more people drive it the more feedback we give it to train neural net and uh, the ai to perform more like human drivers so this is my little first drive on fsd beta 10.3.1 hope you liked it i will see you next time god bless